And whereabouts in Cromwell View would that have been? Where the stream goes under the road okay. to Chichester Drive. Yeah. On the opposite side. Yes. That's the house that used to be at the top of Navigation Lane there. Dixon. There used to be a house on the top. You know where that bungalow is? Where the bungalow is, Yes, there was a house and shop. And uh, the shop would close in the 50s, late 50s, say. And then it was the house was demolished. So this probably here is is a part of Cromwell View coming across the front there. Yes, the the road went round the back like that onto Navigation Lane, you know, come this right-hand side of the property. It went round the back and come up there where that house is. Yes, yeah. 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 The stream used to come across there. But quite a few people do have the the Shirley chairs. But saying that, there were other firms that did make chairs in case they're just the same. Because in a winter time, when there was a shortage of work, they, like Varlow's, they made chairs, wash tubs, steps, and they had a little shop, and they used to sell them in the winter. I've seen their chairs, and Fred Varlow, he knew by the the, uh, the name on the back of the chair who made them, you see. They always used to put the name on, the initial. Mm. But this firm just just used to make chairs, that's why it was... Do we know when that would have gone? No. But I don't really. Where Chichester Drive is now, that used to be allotments. There. Uh, because I moved, when I came back out the Air Force after the war, 43, we moved down Cromwell View. No, down Ronison Avenue. And uh, I had an allotment there, and they used to walk around the allotment there, you see. But uh, this was 19... I came back in 46, so it would be about 47. Mm. 